Hello, I'm Wen Li from the Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology, the Chinese PLA General Hospital in Beijing. First of all, I would like to thank GIE provide this opportunity for me to introduce our study entitled Transvaginal Natural Orifice Transluminal Endoscopic Surgery in the Diagnosis of Ascites of Unknown Origin. As we know, ascites is a common condition with diverse etiologies and the diagnosis might be very difficult sometimes. The differential diagnosis includes hepatic cirrhosis, a malignant tumor with peritoneal metastasis, uh, tubercular peritonitis, conjunctive heart failure, and so on. A clear diagnosis after a comprehensive examination is not able to be achieved for many patients, which has brought a great distress to both doctors and patients. Currently, laparoscopic peritoneal exploration is the most effective method to obtain a histological diagnosis. However, the operative complexity, higher cost, wound pain, and the infection in sessional hernia and abdominal scars are disadvantages of the traditional laparoscopy. Nature orifice transluminal endoscopic surgery, i.e. notes, as a procedure that completes the operation under the guidance of a flexible endoscope so as to achieve a minimally invasive effect that no abdominal wounds or scars and less postoperative pain and uh, has been certified as a feasible and a safe procedure with the potential for clinical use as a clinical uh, minimally invasive alternative to conventional laparoscopy. Furthermore, the transvaginal route is a routine surgical procedure in obstetrics and uh, gynecology, which is safe and uh, convenient, and the wound is easy to suture. Our previous animal studies showed that notes is safe and effective for diagnostic abdominal exploration, and the transvaginal route seems to be the fittest, the safest uh, than the others. Uh, therefore, we applied this technique to clinical practice for three female patients with the ascites. A clear diagnosis didn't acquire after a comprehensive examination. After performing the transvaginal root abdominal ex ex exploration, the tuberculosis peritonitis was readily determined, and all patients received anti-tubercular losses treatment timely. No complications were found during or after surgery and the postoperative recovery was rapid. All of the patients were uh, very satisfied with this new technique. Therefore, uh, it is very helpful for transvaginal nodes to perform uh, abdominal exploration in female patients with unexplained ascites. Does this technique have any impact on their future sexual function. It is a very important issue for female patients. A series of published studies indicated that there was no influence on the female sexual function, and a long-term follow-up showed no incisional hernia in any patients. Our study further confirmed that during a four-year follow-up, no patient experienced any complications or sexual dysfunction. However, the main limitation of transvaginal nodes is that, that 
it can be applied to women only. Another limitation of this study is the small number of cases included. Therefore, prospective multi-center randomized controlled trial are required to confirm this result. Finally, I would like to summarize my uh, talk. Uh, the results of the preliminary study showed that a transvaginal nodes procedure is feasible and valuable for the confirmative diagnosis of female patients with unknown ascites. And this method had no long-term effect on female sexual function. We believe that transvaginal route is the safest for nodes peritoneal intervention. Thank you for your attention.